Bare naked ladies work to achieve all the money and fame that a rock band could dream of. But their inspiration does not come from success. It comes from their bandmates battle with a deadly disease. The Tower Entertainment Tonight cover story. They're on a summer tour that will take them to 26 American cities in six weeks. For bare naked ladies, and especially member Kevin Hearn, it's why they became a band. I pinch myself every day, and I'm very thankful every day. In 1998, as their song One Week was heading to number one, Kevin was diagnosed with leukemia. I started feeling terrible and went back and had a full checkup. And my doctor told me, you know, you have cancer and you may have months to live. His colleagues in the Canadian band were stunned. When someone you love might die, and it's, it's a near certainty, there's kind of no looking on the bright side of that. I don't get it Nothing ever felt complete. Nothing ever felt fully rewarding because, you know, we all worked so hard, and he'd worked equally as hard and then couldn't share in it. But now, after bone marrow transplants, Kevin is cancer-free. I'm beginning to be able to think long-term again and, and actually have hopes. He's doing great. He's, he's off all his medications now. and He's back, you know, he's totally back. Kevin's return is one more reason to celebrate the success that followed 10 years of hard work. Yeah, but it's kind of revenge of the nerds, isn't it? I think we have a, a reputation as the uh, most normal guys in rock. But these normal guys still have fans who throw their underwear onto the stage. I just made you throw underwear. You want to feel like you're a rock star when the panties hit the stage and then you look in the crowd and, and the look on the girl's face like, imagine I actually threw my panties at you. They're touring to promote their new CD, Maroon. And while on the road, they support several causes like the National Marrow Donor Program. It's one way Kevin's colleagues express their thanks. I'll look over and see this beautiful man on the stage with me. And once in a while, I'll just think, God, we almost lost him. I'll, I'll always be grateful to them. And it uh, makes me feel very proud to be, be working with them. What a great story. The guy's got a big laugh at Kevin's first show back, as a matter of fact. The crowd was going wild, but his piano didn't work. And the technical guys fixed it in time for his first solo.